This video gives an example of discrete time convolution sum. So that is we have an input x of n which is in discrete time and then we have an impulse response h of n and the convolution of these two yields the output which is y of n. So herein we are given with x of n which is u of n and then similarly we have h of n which is 0 0.5 to the power n minus 3 u of n minus 3. So let us first define that what is the convolution sum. So that is we have y of n and that is in terms of a summation which is starting from minus infinity to infinity. Now we have to keep one of the impulse response or the input as is and flip the other one. So since this is a simpler version so I would flip x of n rather than h of n right. So here we have h of k right that is I have converted n to k and then x of n minus k that is flipped and switched version of the input. So this is our convolution sum that we need to solve. So let us first plot what is h of n rather than h of n let us say h of k and we know that it is starting at u n minus 3 so 0 1 2 and 3 so it is starting at 3 and the first value would be when we put n equal to 3 over here so 3 minus 3 would be 0 so 0 0.5 raised to the power 0 is simply 1 so we would have a 1 here and at 4 5 and onward we would have a decaying function so this is our h of k in the meanwhile u of k is from 0 onwards we just have the value of 1 but we need u of minus k that is we are having u of minus k that is from 0 minus 1 minus 2 so we would have this left sided signal and lastly we in fact need to add with an n as well so that we can do simply by adding an n to the aforementioned signal so this is the n that we have added so this would become n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on So hence the two signals, the first one is h of k, so it is starting from 3 and going onward like that and then we have this signal which is x of n minus k which is starting from n, n minus 1 and going leftward. Note that we are basically switching x and moving it in this direction. For this particular case we have two cases. The first case that is case 1 is when this value of n is less than 3 this value 3. So if this is the case so in that case if n is less than 3 so there would be no overlap between this and this right. So in this case the output y of n in the absence of overlap that is no point of this is overlapping with this so in this case y of n is simply 0. Now in case 2 we say that this n is now greater than or equal to 3. So that is it is moving in this direction towards the right. So if it is moving in this direction, so in that case the summation that is y of n with the summation variable k is going to start from this starting point because beyond before this point everything is zero. So it is going to start from this point 
and the summation would depend on the value of n that is how far are we beyond 3 right so this upper limit would be n h of k x of n minus k so we know that our h of k is simply uh, 0 0.5 to the power k minus 3 whereas x of n minus k is simply a unit step function right and that we have already included in the limits of this summation now herein we need to use a formulation that is a summation when k is 0 to n alpha k so this is equal to 1 minus alpha n plus 1 over 1 minus alpha so this is a closed form result of a summation right so our the starting point need to start from 0 and we can do that by introducing a new variable which is l and that we set as k minus 3 so by doing so our summation would start from 0 right because of this new definition and the summation would end at n minus 3 and the argument of that summation is simply 0 0.5 k minus 3 but k minus 3 is now simply l this would be equal to power l now applying this formulation so we would have simply 1 minus 0 0.5 n minus 2 over 1 minus 0 0.5 simply 2 minus 2 into 0 0.5 n minus 2 or we can simplify it further and we can say 2 minus 0 0.5 n minus 3 is our answer so hence we now have two cases that is y of n it has two cases the first case is 0 when n is less than 3 as defined here and it is 2 minus 0 0.5 n minus 3 when n is greater than or equal to 3 so this is basically the convolution sum of these two signals x of n and h of n